Um, why is modalism considered such heresy? I think it's incorrect, but many question the very salvation of those who hold to this doctrine. How vital is the correct understanding of the Trinity? So um, I've given this a lot of thought and I, I haven't given it enough thought, but I have given it a lot of thought. So Drewby's dad, um, what I will say is I kind of agree with you. <laughs> um, I don't want to by caveat, I don't want to give any sort of room or wiggle room for modalism as though it is an approved Christian teaching. That is wrong, okay? Modalism seems very much false. But let me share with you guys why I would not um, say that someone who's modalist is therefore unsaved or not Christian. Um, and, and maybe it depends on degree. Maybe there's some, the person promoting it versus the person gullibly believing it, right? There's These are two different kinds of people. The, the teacher of a thing is not the same as the person who is just believing that because th they've misunderstood or something. Um, but uh, modalism, it affirms the deity of Christ, right? It affirms monotheism. Those are two pretty central elements. I would say if you deny one of those things, you are you're not you're not Christian. But modalism is this belief about the Trinity that the that I'll put it crudely to be simple about it. But the Father becomes the Son bec and becomes the Spirit, and these are just different modes that God operates in. And so this is this is not true. It seems obviously false, right? Jesus prays and talks about prays to the Father, talks to the Father, talks about the Father as a, as a separate person than Himself. But yet we have this ironclad pillar of monotheism in scripture. So we can't believe here be promoting multiple gods. Then we have this other pillar of plain teaching in scripture that Jesus is God. So you put all that together and you go, well, there's one God, right? But the father and the son and the spirit are different persons, but because they are, I should say the father is God. The son is God. They're God's a clumsy way to put it. The father is God. The son is God. The spirit is God. Therefore we have three persons, one God. And that means it's to me, um, th this, this idea of the Trinity forced upon us by scripture. I, I don't see any way around it, but modalism, it seems like I could chalk this up to big time confusion about, about who God is, but not a central denial of the nature of God. Now, other, other things like say, a uh, tritheism, Christ is God separate God, a different God than the father and a different God than the Holy spirit. And we have like a tritheism thing that is, um, a fundamental denial of the nature of, of God or denying the deity of Christ is to deny the very person who you have to believe. I have to believe in Jesus to be saved. And I'm denying a central element, probably the most wonderful and re real thing about who Jesus is, is that he is God. And so those to me would be gross heresy. So I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, the more I've thought about it, and I'm open for correction, guys. If you want to offer me correction, whether that's in the form of comments or or a video response, as long as it's, it's as long as you get to the point. <laughs> Anybody who makes a video response to me, just know this: if you if it's a rambling response, I'll watch the first couple minutes and then I I, I move on. <laughs> not not to be rude, I'm not mad at you. I just it, I just I get those responses and I have to decide when to watch. So if you just get right to the point, then you know I'm I'm very much open to correction on this. I do not consider modalism a, a damnable heresy for those who believe it. I think those who teach it actively, it starts to become a bigger issue. And just like scripture says, those who teach are judged more strictly. Um, yeah.